I can't wait to get Dora Greymon and get Weregarurumon back. And uh, we might relatively soon start running into some trouble with needing more Aquan experience, unfortunately. Because the place, uh, the Macro Sea, or is it Macro Sea in Dawn and Dusk and it's called something else in this game? I don't know. The big ocean area that's like, I'm pretty sure only Aquan Digimon can spawn is like halfway through the Gold Tamer quests. So we will probably get Mega Seedramon to level, what does it have to be, level 41? Actually, I'm like positive we'll hit level 41 on Mega Seedramon before getting to that area. So either Mega Seedramon will just have to sit and waste experience or we'll need to get all the Aquan experience he needs from somewhere else. Because he's still short, like, what? 4,500 or something? Okay, look, game. I only need, like, two more demo. Maybe I need to move to a different room. Because I haven't seen... There was one room where it would spawn Wizardmon and Demodevamon side by side. That's, like, my ideal right now. Because I've already got Ipmon. I just need Wizardmon and Demodevamon. And honestly, I think that was one more area over, actually. Hello. HP full S. All right, well, you know. Unlikely to come in super handy, but could. Come on, give me some wizard mon. Stop giving me this Bakamon Bakamon garbage. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Ya boy needs... Some, are you kidding me right now? Screw off. What is happening? Why? Die. That was a load of crap. Whatever, experience is experience, I guess. Is it one more area over? No, this is the exit area. It was definitely like the second area I was in, so I think it's right here. Is where I got that one... Wizardmon and Demodevilmon spawn. Uh, this could be another Demodevilmon, hopefully. Or a Wizardmon, that works too. What, I get 15% per Wizardmon, right? So I need three more for 45%. That'll put me at 105. Yeah, that sounds right. I don't want Growlmon to run out of MP. That'll be slightly inconvenient. This Kongomon is still level 30. It's been level 30 since he digivolved. What are you, what are you doing, man? Pick up the pace. I mean, I, I know you have nothing to aspire to because you can't digivolve again, but still. Get out of here. He's about to level up. So is Growlmon, thankfully. Yeah, Mega Seedramon. We're going to have some trouble with his Aquan experience soon, and that's going to be annoying. Come on, Wizardmon, Demodevamon. All right. It's going to be one or the other whenever I see a Pond Chessmon, usually. And it's looking like Demodeva. Yep. One more of those, three more wizard mons. Boy, I sure would love it if I ran into a fight that was just like two wizard mons side by side. That would be grand. If the game could do that for me. It would mean a lot. I would be very appreciative. I would find the game developers and shake their hand. That sounds like a lot of work, actually. I would definitely not do that. Wizard mon? Perfect. Okay, good. I need more Wizardmon than I do Demodevamon right now, so I want to run into them more. If we could just keep alternating, like Wizardmon, Demodevamon, Wizardmon, Demodevamon. I'll take that. Even though I only need one more Demodevamon. I'm getting really tired of saying Demodevamon. I hope there's a quest that needs a uh, uh, Pawn Chessmon at some point. I said quest very strangely there. Or it sounded like I did. Yeah, go get punched in the face, Tupiramon. Do it. Not Bakamon. This is always a waste of my time. I don't want Bakamon. I need the other things. Wizardmon and Demodevamon. One more Demodevamon, two more Wizardmon. Please, I beg of you. Let me have this. What is it? What is it? What is it? This is not going to be what I want. It's going to be an Impmon. Yeah. Not what I was looking for. Easy kill with Water Blast, though. 
so may as well get a little bit of free experience. Oh my word, I almost one-shot you with Razor Claw. You suck. All right, Mega Seedramon, get him out of here. Water Blast. Be gone. I missed one of them. How? How do you dodge a giant wave of water? It can't be easy. Whatever, it's dead now. I'm a little worried that I'm getting too much experience. We're going to get to that point where Mega Seedramon is just stuck at level 41. I may have to put him in a farm, even if I don't want to. Okay, here we go. Pond Chestmon is always good because it means I'm getting one of the two things I want. It's Demodevamon this time. Okay. We're good on Demodevamon. I think I need two more Wizardmon. Two more Wizardmon and we are set. Part of me is thinking, like, just leave and come back for it later because you've already gotten Nitmon and Demodevamon. That's plenty. But the other part of me is like, dude, just be done with it. Get those two Wizardmon, and then you don't have to bother coming back for them. Nah, I'm gonna leave, actually. Been here too long. I want to get into Ancient Canyon, because Durugamon's getting close to level 30. I could jump down there and get that, but then I'd have to go all the way back around, and I ain't about that life. I should've just come in here, apparently, because I bet you it's about to spawn. Yep, gonna spawn two of them side by side. Should've just come in here for Demodevamon. That's what I get for not checking out the boss area. Super dead. Thanks for the 60 experience. There were 30 apiece. That's pretty good. To get from a couple of rookies. Calamon, can I, like, opt out of your calling system? I want to opt out. See you later, suckers. All right. So, am I on a quest? Do I need to go give someone something? Or I didn't take a quest, did I? I was just working on getting that scan data. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, let's go to Ancient Canyon. Where I'm fairly certain there are dragon people. Oh, dude! We have to fight a Bobamon and a Gigimon at the end of this area, don't we? Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Or do you have to fight them, or do you just talk to them? I think in Dawn and Dusk you fight a Bobamon and Gigimon, but in this game you just talk to them? I cannot remember. Pagamon, what's up? This does look like what I dreamt of. Does that mean... I've been here in the past? I don't know about that, but it looks like we can go further in. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong, dudes? I'm putting Kongomon in the back as soon as I get another ultimate. Ah, oh, yes, Growlmon. Experience, hello. So nice to see you. Taste my spiky nails. You took that a little bit better than I expected, unfortunately, and I don't think you're going to die to the rock propeller. Nope, because Congo Mon is weak. Ow. Alright, get out of here. How dare you disrespect my giant sea snack like that by not dying to his razor claws, which he doesn't have. 57 dragon experience a pop is actually too easy, chat. I wanted to look really quickly. What is, uh... Three more levels and eight for you. And then you're probably going to end up having to degenerate as much as I hate it. It's going to be close on which one of you gets to Digivolve to Ultimate first here. I, what's your deal? You're at 133 attack. You need like 180 or something stupid like that. Yeah, 180 in four levels. That's not half. I can get you up to level 37, though, because you have more aptitude. So, you know, that'd be a little bit of a... Some wiggle room for more boost and attack. Thank goodness someone put all these ropes here. Mine. A Sunday. That's fairly useful, actually. Minotauromon, you are not a dragon. Did you not hear me say I was specifically looking forward to fighting dragons? I think you can run into Reptile Dramon here, or again, that might be Dawn and Dusk. It is ridiculous. Like, there's such similar games that so much of my memory overlaps when it comes to the areas themselves. So much of my memory overlaps on, uh what is in Dawn and Dusk, and then what is in uh, DS. I thought he was going to live for a second there. I think it's level 31. Calm down, dude. Yo, the perfect amount of experience. Couldn't ask for anything more.
if we do fight Babamon and Gigimon at the end of this area, like I think we might, there is a, uh, the way that they're set up on the field means that I do not want to use Seedramon in that fight. All right, again, this is a lot of beastie boys. I'm not looking for beasts, I'm looking for uh, dragons. I'm like 110% sure that no Aquan Digimon spawn here, but I also wouldn't mind any of those if you have any of those to throw around. I should have hit the two in the middle because Water Blast, but too little too late, I guess. I think this will kill them. Yes, yes it did, perfect. Unfortunately, these two are definitely gonna get to attack. I'm pretty sure when Babamon and Gigimon, if you do fight them in this game, they stand in the middle left and the middle right, so Water Blast literally can't hit them. And that means that uh, Mega Seedramon will be pretty worthless. I'd actually probably rather have Garurumon, even if he isn't Digiballed back to ultimate, because Ice Wall would do well. Definitely want Growlmon, because Blaze Blast. Figures you'd miss the one with a lot of health. And then, I don't know who else I would put in to help in that scenario. Maybe we'll have Dora Greymon by then, but I'm pretty sure Dora Greymon doesn't have, like, any good attacking moves until he learns one at level 32, maybe? I can't remember. I need to look at his technique stuff. I'm pretty sure he sucks until he gets, like, 32 or something. Or higher than that? I can't remember. Maybe it was 38? My memory sucks, as you all probably know. Oh, we got a thousand bits from Gatsumon right there. That's nice. Money is money. Ah, thank you. This is what I've been looking for. We should probably endeavor to get Wergarurumon and, um... And get, uh... Dor Greymon before fighting the boss of this area. Because I'm pretty certain that the area after this one is the final area of being a Silver Tamer. How dare you live. Who do you think you are? This is probably not going to kill you. You're too bulky. Growlmon is like as good as an ultimate. I both hate and love it. I love it because I have a Growlmon, and I hate it because I am now fighting Growlmons. You know what? Honestly, I don't care. Kongomon is being replaced very shortly. I don't care about him getting experience here. It really does not mean that much to me. Goodbye, Growlmon. He's done it. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put Wergarurumon, and by Wergarurumon, I mean Garurumon, because he's not currently Wergarurumon, despite what the layout says. I'm just going to go ahead and put you right here, and you're low on HP, so do your moves still suck? Yeah, you, like, only have Pepper Breath to hit with, which is just absolutely awful. I forgot that they made you bad in this game. At least in the early game you are. You get better later on. And then what do, what do you do? Razor Claws is your only attacking move. Level 42, you get an, a move that's usable. That is also a load of trash. Look at how they massacred my boy. I can give you Breath of Fire, at least, by putting a weapon on you. That's something, I guess. Totally forgot that you could get Sea Homon in this game. Uh... Crud. So I don't want to use you either. What what moves do you have? I mean, you're nice and, like, stupid fast, but your attack is so bad. Yeah, oh, is this multi-hit? No, it's just really strong. The headbutt is multi-hit, but... Okay, you actually have a really good move. So I've been avoiding using you because I know your attack stat is actual little... Uh, words, literal garbage, but... Let's, uh, give Peckmon here the old college try. Any weapons I can equip you with? Nope. I really thought Chicken Dagger would be for birds. Yes, that's... Oh, I accidentally hit R2. My mistake. That was a misclick. Level 50 insects. Holy cow. Here, take this because you can. All right, we're going to try and make it work with Pac-Mon. And then you're about to Digivolve, thank goodness. You're about to Digivolve, but you're still going to suck until, like, level 42. But that's something, I guess. Need to get, like, a good dragon weapon we can equip on, uh, words, equip on Dora Greymon to make him decent. I do really like in this game that weapons give Digimon moves. It's very useful. 
All right, yeah, Peckmon is insanely fast, as expected. How much can you do with the Hawk Talons? Because they are very high on... Uh... Okay, that was a crit, and it did the damage that Growlmon does normally, so I do not feel good about this at all. Yeah, Growlmon did more than you did with a crit, even though you used a move that is much stronger. So we need some weapons to up your attack stat desperately. Just kill, kill this fool. Use V Headbutt to make sure it happens. Actually needed to use V Headbutt. That is disgusting. My word, your attack stat is so bad. But you're so fast. All right, get this fool out of here. I might actually not be able to kill him. <laughs> no, what? Garurumon hits like a truck. He's super dead. In fact, I'm so confident I'm going to hit charge instead of karate punch. Okay, yeah, that was close, but you should die to this. Hopefully. I thought he was going to live for a second there. I would have lost my mind. 114 dragon experience is great, though. We are at the point in the game now. I didn't think we would have hit this point quite yet, but I think we're at the point in the game now where... Oh, Triceramon, hello. That is a lot of dragon experience. We're at the point of the game now where, first of all, I should have healed before the fight, but forgot, so I'm going to do it now in the middle of the fight. But uh, we should probably start buying equipment if we can. Specifically to cover the stat weaknesses in our team, like Garurumon desperately needs some speed buff. He's got to be a little bit faster. Peckmon, his speed is amazing, but he does so little damage. Him getting to attack twice before an enemy is... Uh, look, he did one. He did one damage. Him getting to attack twice is basically worthless because of how low his attack stat is. Really hope Karate Punch is going to get a kill here. I'm actually really tempted to use Ice Wall instead. That's only 10 more. Just use Karate Punch. All right, cool. If he would have just barely lived that, I would have been really mad at myself for not using Wall of Ice. Gimme. Revive D, okay, you know, it's not worthless. It's a decent item. We, like, cannot beat. Oh, hey, you can find Apemon here, perfect. I need Apemon. I don't think we can beat Gigimon and Babamon, as we are right now. It might be time to just, like, get the dragon experience we need here so we can Digivolve the door Greymon and then, like, do a bunch of favorite quests to sort of level grind a bit. Because we have access to plenty of favorite quests. We can go get the scan data for Wizardmon, except I need ultimates for that, actually, now that I think about it, but we're close to having enough ultimates to make that work, so... We can get the scan data for Wizardmon, get uh, ultimates hopefully relatively soon, and do that quest. Um, I don't want to use healing items, because then I'll need to buy more healing items. And I think this is the boss area right here, actually. If we do actually fight them as a boss. But, uh, crud, what was I saying? I don't want to use healing items. I realize my Digimon are low on health right now, but if I use healing items, then I will... Uh, need to buy more healing items, and I can't really afford to buy healing items because I really feel like I need to be buying weapons. Revive S's are pretty cheap, so I'd rather revive than use the healing thing, I think, at this point. Please one-shot the 8-mon. Nope, that was asking too much. Really wish you would not use Blaze Blast. Well... You know what Peckmon is definitely good for? Using items. So, you know, it's not a role that I... Oh, I have 30 of these. Perfect. It's not a role that I really wanted to have one of my Digimon fill, but, you know. Oh, no, the power smash. Oh, my word, that almost killed. Can I not? Crud. Peckmon can kill that Growlmon. Ooh, wait, you know what? I'm gonna Ice Wall, so I actually just need to weaken you as much as possible. Man, I wish Peckmon had a better attack stat, like, really badly. Oh, dude, if we do a bunch of favor quests, if we can get to enough where, uh, What's-His-Face gives us that bird weapon. I bet that bird, I hope, I'm thinking the bird weapon he's gonna give us 
might be, yo, we're so close to Dora Greymon. Even though Dora Greymon will suck for a little while. The bird weapon he give us will probably be, uh, I'm hoping it's a level 30 weapon, but it might be a level 40 weapon is what I'm thinking. So we won't be able to use it anyways, but that'll be a good way to get that. Yeah, your attack, even with the plus 15, you're only at 85 attack. That is awful. Like, what is, what is Growlmon at? Uh, 160 after bonuses. And then Wergar Rumon is 185 naturally, and then just has plus 5 to be at 190. You're at, like, 147 with bonuses. That's great. Your attack sucks. Your attack is really good, but you have no good moves. Yeah. Peckmon desperately needs, uh, the thing and the stuff. Use, like, uh... Do I have a... Well, I don't want to use these MP items because I've just realized they're the only ones I have. I wanted to use a small MP item to give Growlmon enough to use the move. Oh, this is not the boss area. Right through here is the boss area, maybe? I don't remember. I think we're just slightly under level. Because we are coming to the end of being a Silver Tamer, and I'm only just now getting, like, all of my ultimates. You attacking is basically worthless. I'm actually just going to try and run. Okay, thank you. In fact, maybe I shouldn't... I really... Part of me is, like, just start walking back now anyways, because you're not going to be able to beat the bosses. Another part of me is, like, I don't remember if you actually have to fight bosses or if you just talk to them. So, I want to get to the end of the area and see, like, yo, you going to actually fight me or are you just going to tell me some stuff and I'm going to go about my business? Because the final boss of being a Silver Tamer is not a, uh, I don't think it's a Mega. It's a high-level Digimon, but it's not a Mega. I really, really, really wish I could use Blaze Blast. This is going to get really rough here in a second. I'm going to use another one of my healing items here. Even though I have so few of them. Since Garurumon and Peckmon are a little low and Growlmon's basically dead, seems like the right call. Ow. Calm down there, buddy. See? Why couldn't you just use that move instead? Oh, please get me to the Wall of Ice, I beg of you. Oh, if only Garurumon was... A, it's... A, all of my Digimon are basically good, but a bunch of them have, like, one... Oh my goodness, something in my throat. They have one small flaw that needs to be rectified. For Garurumon, it's his speed. For Peckmon, it's his, his physical attack. For Darugamon and soon-to-be Dorgreymon, it's the moves that they have access to. Growlmon is the MVP. He doesn't really have a flaw, other than the fact that it takes him forever to digivolve, but honestly, he's as good as the next level. Like, Growlmon... Giyomon was as good as a champion. Growlmon is as good as an ultimate. I bet War Growlmon will function well enough as a Mega, and then I guess Gallimon is just the most powerful being in the universe. He counts as an Ultra Digimon. That's a lot of beast experience that I didn't necessarily want. I want dragons. How are we looking on Darugamon, actually, for dragon experience? I'm going to have to figure out some way to get Aquan experience on Mega Seedramon. Oh, we're only 60 away. Perfect. So we just need to fight, like, literally two dragon Digimon. And we are beyond set. That is good news. It is a boss fight. Oh, no. There's no way I can win that. 